Hey everyone, welcome to another puppet combo game called Nightwatch. Uh, one of their newest games. Uh, I follow their... I'm on their Patreon, so um, I get the latest games through there. So definitely support them on Patreon if you think that their games are great uh, and if you want to play them. Definitely worth the five bucks a month. Um, so yeah, their newest game. I'm super excited if you just saw that. Just that little intro just now. So much like theming going on and it just got it just comes together so well i can't wait to experience the loud noises that this game is gonna offer <laughs> let's dive in first nine on the job i have a feeling it's going to be a long one okay i just need to stay awake well that seems easy enough Oof, oh god these controls this this oh this is really hard to walk around be very careful. Can I, can I like click on that? Oh, a letter. Read it. Yes. Oh, Jim, finally out on your first watch duty. You're going to love it. Peaceful nights and all the fresh air you could ever want. This is an easy job, but you still need to stay on top of things. Make sure you make a round and check for fires every 30 minutes. Be aware that you also have a radio tuned to the emergency ranger channel. Hikers are directly Directed to use this channel in case of any trouble. It's unlikely, but make sure you keep the radio on. Use the satellite phone in case of any emergencies and backup will be on the way. Okay. Any Another ranger will be there to relieve you next week. You can ride back out on his horse. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. Have plenty of supplies. Okay. Best TJ. Um, I think I can do something about these settings. Yeah. PSX, oh god, off. Maybe we should do that. Oh yeah, that's better. We can see more now. I, I really like the visual effects, but they also are very headache-inducing to me. After a little bit. Ooh, a gun! A rifle, just in case. Hmm, <laughs> look at this little man. Flashlight? Nice. <laughs> Flashlight is equipped. It can be toggled on and off by pressing F. Cool. Okay, I'm getting used to the walking now a little bit. Can I pick up this phone? Computer. Uh, sure. Whoa, what? Yes? Welcome to the park service system. Type weather to check the weather report. Oh. The weather is mostly cloudy with dense fog. Showers expected overnight. Type shell to return to the shell. Why does my first letter not work? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Um, I want to check out that though. Satellite phone I can use to reach the outside world. Oh, you don't want to put that in your inventory? Emergency radio transmitter. Transmitter, actually. I need to leave this on in case there's a problem. Um, should we take the stairs? Or the door? Wait, the door is like just the little balcony area, right? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything here. I love the fixed camera angles. Oh, doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh god. He turned so quickly. Is there a way to turn the sensitivity? Turn. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Keep pressing E, but it's just a mouse click. Guess I'll go check downstairs. Hello? This door leads downstairs, but I can't leave my post. Oh. Okay, you want to take a nap? Oh god. Can't go to bed yet. I have to stay on watch for a few more hours. Can you imagine this game actually lets you stay here? <laughs> you have to wait for a couple hours before anything happens. Well, I examined everything, didn't I? Wood stove keeps everything warm. Anything we haven't looked at outside? We haven't examined, like, the balcony or something. I should check for any activity. Survey the south. Sure. Oh god. Zoom. 
Oh, that is cool. Oh, I can zoom really far. Jeez. Okay. Do you guys see anything? Oh, there. What's that? I can't look at it from here, though. This side? Oh god, oh god. There. Exactly there. What's that? There. Got it in my sights. What is it? Smoke? Someone camping out there? This shit's scary. Too many hours playing. Oh, looks like a campsite a few miles west. I can't see the bonfire from here. Yes! Um, was this the... West? No. We checked west. Yes, north. Trees? Don't see anything. East. I don't think I see anything. What am I hearing? Take my job very, very seriously. Very serious, actually. Oh! Good. I was just about to get a little bit sleepy. I need spooks. Hello, anyone there? This is Jim from the office. Hello? Is that Dwight? You're on the Parks, de de Parks Department emergency line. Do you have an emergency? This isn't funny, and it isn't a game. Unless you have an emergency, please do not use this channel. Damn. Just some damn kids and their goddamn pranks. What do you want to do next? The phone's only for emergencies, right? Still on watch? You want to go to the camp? Okay. He doesn't want to leave his post. Mm, what should I do? Look outside again? The campfire was this way, right? Yeah. I guess nothing changed. Nope. Forgot I have a flashlight. Nothing on the roof. Nah. No one on the stairs below? No. The generator. Oh, your lights! Out of gas. Can you go downstairs? Can I run? Oh shit! Oh shit! Look at him go! You wanna take your gun? Oh, this is scary. You wanna take this? No? Is the generator below? Yep. Here we go! Where's the generator, good sir? Because I don't know. Wait, stairs? There. This makes me want to play Until Dawn, honestly. <laughs> With the radio tower. I really like that game. Ah, oh, here it is. What does it need? Generator must have run out of gas. K 
Can you get gas? Is there a door in this shed? <laughs> Let them go. There it is. I really thought something was going to be in the background. What's this? Computer disk, sure. Maze of the Minotaur. Weird. Think we can play that on the computer? Is it gonna be a game in a game? There you go. Nothing spooky yet, just ran out of gas. Nothing's going on. And a weird floppy. Hey, lights are back on. Woo! Let's go back. Back to my warm, cozy room. Safe pie. I got this. Eh. Eh. What was that sound? Heard like a short eh. Is it just here? Yeah. What is that? Something in my room? Yes, hello? It's the computer, isn't it? It is it's so loud. Are you okay? Maze at the Minotaur. Can I go up? It's all sort of a blur. Voyage, bat, weather, shipwreck. Did any of the crew survive? You're cold and alone. Your head hurts. Your vision is still blurry. The large stone walls and towers obscuring that little light the moon provides. What little light? It feels like something is watching you, hiding in the shadows. There is no certainty of your survival. Can you find your way out or will you die in a fool's death? Type help for help. In the meantime, press a key. Okay, you wake on a stone altar, a large stone slab of some kind. What you choose to do now is up to you. To the north you see a dim hallway, to the east you see a dim hallway. Go north. The walls seem to close in around you as you enter the northern tunnels. The inviting light of the moon is gone and only the slight, wastely, vastly spaced light of the walls. Adorned torches great, greet you down the long paths. Hard to read. To the south you see the sacrificial altar, and to the north you see the hallway. Okay, go south. You've returned to the luminescent area where you first awakened. Oh, that was the altar? Towers of stone that spread so far around you seem so much more oppressive now. Look around. The cold stone slab you came from is the only identifiable item in the room. Bright moonlight fills the near auditorium-like structure. You see clearly to find e exits to the north, east, and south, lit by torches that seem almost trivial with a night this bright. The torches are tightly fastened to the columns of the doorways. Okay. Um, let's go back north. I went north, right? Okay. Uh, go north again, then. You continue down the long northern tunnel. It's easy to lose your bearings. It all looks the same. Okay. Go north again. You're met with a stone wall. There's no way forward, but you can turn. Look around. Though much darker, the path to the west now seems a bit more reliable, as the sudden stone face of the north wall has broken your confidence in that being a way forward. Okay. West, a tunnel of darkness. South, you see a dim hallway. Let's go south first, then. Maybe we can find some light source. East. The walls seem to close in around you as you enter the east tunnels. The inviting light as of the moon is gone and only the slight, wait, vastly spaced light of the wall adorned torches greet you down the long path. To the east is the hallway and to the west is the altar, so we go east further. You've continued east. Despite the labyrinth's design, the corridors seem to twist on for a while before you arrive at the break in the paths. 
You could also always turn back, though who knows how long that could take, and who knows how much time you have left. You see end of the line, to the north, to the east you see Crystal Shrine, to the west you see a dim hallway. Let's go east again. What is it? A flash of similar light cuts through the ceiling as the moon makes another, albeit smaller, appearance. Sitting in the middle of the room, adorned with small ornaments, all as foreign to you as this architect architecture has been, is a large crystalline structure. It captures the moonlight beautifully, but outside of that seems impracti impractically large to the left, to be left in such an isolated place. Hmm. The room is almost completely circular. All the pillars, all the rags high on the walls seem to conform to the crystal's placement. It's almost a shrine. It's ready to what? Take crystal? Hmm. Can't take that. What should we do? Check pillars. Hmm. Check crystal. Look at crystal. The room is almost completely so oh, okay, it's the same. Almost a shrine, a shrine to what? Go west again. We haven't checked out the, out the dark hallway, right? Okay. You see end of the line to the north. Go north. Through the cold return of the walls, you feel the coldness of the dirt floor radiate up from beneath you. Oh no, I can't read this all. Oh no. You can no longer feel the structure of the walls anywhere around you. You can only hear your own footsteps. Your mind processes the odd, odd, odds that it is in front of you, perhaps moving the same direction. Panic may be your worst enemy here. Your rational mind knows that all tunnels lead somewhere. But that somewhere is feeling less and less... Ah, oh, I can't read it. I really want to read this. Can I go back up? No. What felt like an unending path through the darkness driving you by the sheer possibility of escape has suddenly given way to the hardest wall you've ever felt. The footsteps haven't stopped. Whatever it was in the tunnel with you is still moving. Sheer size of whatever... Uh, the breaths f fall on you now. Standing right above you. Clearly and undeniably above you. This thing you were so key keep keen to move from is no longer concerned with your footsteps. Um... It clearly never was. The breath settles as it takes in a long inhale, smelling the air, smelling you. That smell, this darkness, the wet, soft, cold mess beneath you. This is not the first time this has happened. It will, you will not be the last. To the south you see a dim hallway. Wait, <laughs> I can just still play? <laughs> weird! Okay, let's go back west? That was weird. West back to the altar. And then didn't we see something here as well? Like that? Return to the dimly lit hall. Somehow both directions seem less inviting. I can't go north anymore. Wait, what? It's moving me south. Look around. The longer you venture down this path, the bleaker the scenario begins to feel for you. You know there is something waiting for you, but what that may be and why that may be is completely beyond you. Dimly lit halls, both directions seem less inciting. Okay, go west into the darkness. Through the dark you feel a flash of hope as the dim light seems to greet you at the west end of this tunnel. Do you continue west to this new light, or retreat into the knowable dread of the darkness once more? Go west. Almost as if an answer to your prayers, you are face to face with the cold glow of the moon once more. This time illuminating something far more interesting in the form of a large radiant pool, catching every moonbeam that comes through the cracks of the ceiling glowing across the almost completely still surface. The pool seems far less than inviting, however, as the surface reveals that through light rests atop it. None seems to penetrate the thick, soupy mire. Mire? I don't know what that is. 
You can return to the terrible darkness to the east or head west through a large uncomfortable opening beyond the pool. It certainly looks like no place for someone like you, but your options are, of course, limited. Let's go west again. You enter the large crevice and immediately know that something is wrong. The path before you is foreign even to the design of this coliseum you found. Uh, you found yourself slowly coming to terms with. Everything from the walls to the makeshift supports to the very path you walk upon is made well after this building was put together. Everything about this feels wrong. You do not belong here, yet here you are. South is a dark, narrow path and east is a room with a view. The room with the view is where we came from then, right? Just as you felt the path could get no darker, it seems, to seems to have to do just that as you continue walking. There is a thick smell in the air. Okay, go south again. The lights that filled the tunnel are now all the heavier. The impossible to escape the ghoul it's impossible to escape the ghoulish odor that has sunk deep into the cavernous walls. The light that the torches guide you along reveal what can only be described as a hole of depravity. The floor is thick with the dark red viscera of things that were once alive like you, once lost like you, once followed. To the south you see a path lit ahead. Keep going. <clears throat> The heavy heat on your back is so evident now that you can no longer pretend it is simply your mind adjusting to the fresh sights of the torches as having heated the very floor you stand on. The floor is thick and wet and unquestionably cold. This heat is foreign to you as it is as is the overwhelming sense of despair that fills your heart. You look up and notice the word surprise. Whatever is behind you was waiting for this moment. A horrible grinding sound revs up behind you. You start to run. You see the only path to the west. Ooh, that was good. God, I was really into that game, though. Can we get a full game of that? Sure. Are we gonna die? No one? I don't see anything. Well, creepy. Is it locked? Please lock it. <laughs> Please just put a bolt on that. Can we go back into the game? You have died. Aww, press any key to restart. Ah, oh, really? You feel different, lightheaded. Oh, we have three paths now. Wait, what do we go first? North and east? What's south? You start down the southern path. Why hadn't you gone this way before? Do you continue south or retreat to the familiarity of the altar? Wait, in the monotony of endless dark halls, you almost miss doll li laying on the tile floor. Pick up doll. You grab the soggy doll. It feels cold in your hand. Look at doll. Ugly soiled doll no child should be playing with. You notice lice in its greasy hair. Smells of urine. Gross! Okay. Look around again. Um, the passageway is as dark as ever but you fear of death but your fear of death has been removed. Perhaps greater horror lie ahead. Okay. Keep going. We are now presented with three paths. Perhaps there is something you're looking for here. Perhaps there is nothing here by more unseen eyes following you. Time to find out. The passageway is as dark as ever, but your fear of death has been removed. Oh god. What was that? East or west? I say always go left, so let's go west. An almost pitch black stone hallway greets you. Your footsteps echo back from the darkness ahead. You can't make out anything. You only understand the way back and the way ahead. Okay. This path is a waste of time, you think, as you move further into the dark abyss. As you begin to turn back, you hear the giggle of a child running towards you from the darkness. Hi there, the girl says. Have you seen my doll? No, you respond. If you can find her for me, I'll lead you out of here, she replies. I have a doll. Why would you respond with no? She blocks your path, but this is the first opportunity you've come upon in this godforsaken place. You accept the challenge. Give doll? 
You give the child the doll. She giggles and says, thank you. She takes your hand and leads you into the darkness down a narrow stairway. She gets too far ahead. She's gone. You're alone. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I was about to say, please stop this noise. Of course, answer it. Hello? Hi, honey. Hey, baby. How is everything? It's fine. Kids miss you. Wasn't that phone just for emergencies? Tell them I'll be back before they know it. Make sure you bring something home for them. I found some fossilized rocks on the horse ride up here. Just happened to rest by a lake and there they were. It'll be perfect. How's the job? Fantastic. I can't wait to bring you guys along in the future. Maybe this summer. Is that allowed? Not really, but all the guys do it. Family trip once a year. I get so nervous in the woods. Are you being careful? When have you known me not to be careful? Jim, I'm serious. You're all alone out there. No help for miles. Damn, the phone is dying. Oh, fuck. Honey, are you there? Shit. It's dead. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked up the phone. So I could have called for help. Oh, no. Do you want that gun yet? <laughs> maybe we should check on the campfire. The bonfire camper camper dudes. Oh, they're still there. I guess they're fine. You wanna play again? Oh shit! That's cool. Oh. Oh shit. Can I play it? We'll just try all directions. So I tried south just now. Okay. We'll go back. Let's try west. Nothing there. Go back. We'll try north. Oh! That's something. Oh, I can keep going north. Oh, it says help! Only way send help. She won't let me... She won't let us go. Help, trapped in the dark, no food or water. Oh. Jeez. The wind. That got me. That one really scared me. I was really into the game. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have picked up the phone, should I? That's gonna fuck me over. Who fucking threw a rock this high? Someone threw a rock up here? Is your window okay? I can't walk over the rock. Whew, that got me. That was good. This is some good, like, atmosphere building. World building. Atmosphere. Atmosphere building, I would say. Probably not correct English, but... You know me. I smell smoke. From where? Oh. Did someone just walk there, behind the broken glass, into that corner? I think I saw something. Is there someone up here? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just shining through the wall. The brick. Oh, there's fire down there. <gasps> oh, shit. You wanna go down? Take the gun. <laughs> I keep wanting to take the gun. Can we do anything? Oh god. Tower is on fire. 
What are you gonna do, dude? Get the gun. Call for help. Why would you not be able to charge that phone? If you have a generator. Can't call for help. Okay. The door is jammed. Oh. Break the window. Uh, which window, though? Nice! Well, at least you're outside. But where do you go? Oh, dude, you're dead. There's no- Oh, God! Oh, no! Well, honestly, even if you- Oh, God! I was gonna say, even if you called for help, uh, they wouldn't get there in time. Must have been a bad dream. I dozed off. Better check what everything is okay. Dude. Sounds like an alert from the computer. Computer or radio? Are you a park ranger? Yes, I'm in charge of emergencies in this area of the park. Okay, well, I know this probably sounds dumb, like I'm being overly paranoid, but I think there's somebody watching us in the woods by your campsite. What's your location? Okay. I think I saw your campfire. It's not too far away. I'm about two miles. How many people are you with? There are three of us. We keep hearing things in the woods. I think somebody's there. Maybe a bear? We heard a voice. It sounded like a pig, but not an actual pig. Like somebody mimicking a pig. Sounds like you guys are spooked, but it's highly, highly unlikely anybody is out there. The park is pretty empty this time of year. Is there anything you can do? Can you check it out, if, out for us? I'll come back to check it out if that will make you feel better. Okay, thanks. Please hurry. I'm on my way. The approximate location of the camp is marked on your map. You need to look- if you need to look at the map, press M. Okay. You should probably bring your- oh, the gun's gone. Dude, the gun's gone. I was gonna say you should bring your gun in case it- in case it is a bear. Well, fuck. At least you have your flashlight. is getting really cool. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go this way. Someone mimicking a pig. What kind of dude is it? Oh, the little tree pixels scared me. <laughs> Okay. So, am I just going here? Into the woods? Me, camp. Northeast. How do I know what direction is which? See the dot changes on the map? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't- I think I can only go one way anyway. Wait, am I? Yeah, I am a dude. For a, single, for a second there, I thought I had like a bun on my back. I mean, could still be a dude, but I thought it was like long hair. <clears throat> I'm assuming I'm just gonna run in a straight line. It is very cool. Oh, you wanna go this way? Those are some huge tree dudes. Trees, dude. God, English is all over the place. I think I'm hungry or something. A little bit tired. I'm really into it though, I swear. I really like it. Dude's in great shape. <laughs> I have no idea if this is changing at all. Two miles and he's just running out there at night without anything with him. <laughs> I 
In my defense, I did try and take the gun. Oh, we're going downhill, dude. This music is giving me uh, Silent Hill vibes. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> I just want to run downhill. Thanks. There we go. Oh, it's getting so steep. Oh, it's better now. Oh, there's an item there. What is it? A basket in the house? Empty picnic basket. I wonder if there's a bear around. Haha. <laughs> What's that? Wooden toy flute. Why would that be here? Oh shit. What is this? A goat skull and satanic graffiti. Some kids must have had a good time scaring people out here. <gasps> Definitely saw someone at the window this time. What is it? What the fuck? Oh. What are these noises? Oh. Well, I can't do anything there. Oh, that's a cliff. Is someone standing there? I think I saw someone in the background. Way in the background. Maybe it was the item, though. Time to go! Just sprint, dude. Just go. Leave it. Best not to look back. Some creepy shit. Where am I? Oh, we are moving. We're getting closer. I mean, moving on the map, obviously. <laughs> Thank God it's not like... God, what's that game? Colot? That I played such a long time ago where you have to like navigate using a map and compass. That shit was hard. What's this? Another basket? Backpack? We should take it. Why would anyone leave that? Even if they just left it stopped raining it would still be um, considered litter right or what's the word garbage you should just pick it up and take it with you there are two items here always go left what is it A wet, dirty dress. How could someone lose a dress? Are we almost there? Woo, we're so close! Do you think we're dreaming again? What is that noise? It's getting louder. Oh, I found it! Hello, ranger service! Anyone there? They're fucking dead. Oh my fucking god, they're fucking dead. Better check the tents. Don't check the one with the loud noises. Nobody there. Oh shit. Oh, big flashlight. Oh, it's the radio. So what should we do now? Fire pit looks like the rain put out the fire. Oh, there's a third tin. I, I only thought there were two. What is it? Ooh, the tent is splattered with blood. Well, time to call for help, right? Hello? I'm coming. Where are you? Sounds like this way. 
Hello? <laughs> what is it? Teddy bear. Dude, you're so fucked. He's so dead. Running after- Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> what was that? Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even have time to process it. Oh no. Some guy in like Texas chainsaw mask or shit. Are we someone's food? <gasps> oh my god. We are someone's food. Can I move? Oh, I can! Oh my god! <laughs> look away! Don't look at my private parts! No! <laughs> oh, so- oh god. It's first person now. God damn. Oh god, who are you? He's wearing a mask even. He has a power drill. Ah! No! Oh. Ha God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Ooh, is that it? Jesus. God damn. I told you guys. Loud noises. Very loud noises. I mean, I'll turn it down a lot for in editing, but Jesus Christ. Okay, I checked out um, 8 Bit Ryan and uh, John's endings, and it's the same. So I think this is, I think it's safe to assume that this is the one ending uh, for this game. So, definitely really good. Um, I guess it's a blessing and a curse that it like ends on a bang like that. I kind of feel like they could do more if they. I could add like a tiny little section where it's like some chasing or something to make it even more exciting but honestly it was very fun and the the, the text-based part was my favorite like I said that was it um, I'm there I'm a patron on their patreon so I'm gonna keep an eye on further updates future games and um, play them as they come out probably so hopefully you guys liked it and see you guys in the next puppet combo game thanks